Hi, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to discuss uh, which programming language you should learn if you would start data science in 2023. First of all, I just want to say that I've been using R and Python for a long time. So started with R in around 2012 and Python, I think 2014. So I know both languages in a relatively similar way. I'd like to give you the least biased opinion I can. I'll start with the end. If you were to start today, I would go with Python because it has been used for more, more problems. And there's, uh, yeah, it's being adopted by, by companies, by a very big community. And it's also being used for web development or other problems. The other advantage of Python is that there's a very strong ecosystem related to deep learning. So let's say you start learning data science, you study for a year, you get to do some machine learning and you say, okay, I want to learn deep learning. So if you, if you would have used R up to that point, you would have to start learning Python to learn deep learning. The reality is that uh, for the tabular data part, let's say uh, that will involve statistics or data visualization, data manipulation, R is great, but um, Python has catch up significantly. It's not as good for some problems, but it's very good already. And there's the chance that it gets better in time. Uh, whereas R, it seems that all the, the main packages that got developed a few years ago, there's nothing new coming up that's significant. And also R never catch up with the deep learning problem. So, so if you want to learn deep learning with R, it will very, very difficult. You could do some things, but yeah, it, it's just, I wouldn't recommend. Let me give you a little bit more detailed uh, description on what are the pros and cons of R and Python. So in data visualization, I think R is a clear winner. You have Shishi plot and actually Plotly that's kind of different to how Plotly works in Python. So Plotly in R, for some reason, it's just a lot easier to use. And then, for data manipulation, you have DeepLAR or data table. I think they are a little bit more mature than the options that you have in Python, that's Pandas or Polars, or some other libraries that are coming out. So you have a little bit of a lower learning curve if you were to use R for data manipulation, data visualization, and statistics. Of course, in statistics, R is a clear winner. I mean, but Python has uh, made a lot of progress in this area also. It's not like as it was a few years ago that you didn't have a lot of options in Python for some problems. So one of them is time series. So in time series, um, a few years ago, um, there wasn't much in Python that was com comparable to what the options you had in R. And I think now you, you have pretty good uh, software packages that are almost at the same level than R and that they have more future because they can integrate deep learning models a lot easier. And then we have the tabular machine learning. I think in this uh, problem, it's kind of the same R and Python. So if you're going to do random forest or exhibus or linear regression type of modeling, it's the same. You, you don't need, it doesn't matter. You can learn any. And then in big data, Python has a clear advantage. You have PySpark that's very well developed. And even though R has something comparable, it, it's not at the same level. It's not being used by a lot of companies. So for big data, um, I think Python is uh, the language to use and R is just not used at all. And basically that's more or less all I had to cover. Um, Okay, so yeah, I think that that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope I helped to decide if you should choose R or Python. I think R is great. I love R for statistics or data visualization. I use it sometimes in projects where the focus is really on the statistics part, but I would use in general Python. Everybody's using it and there's just a larger community. And I think the community, the Python community is great. Everybody's uh, extremely open and shares a lot of stuff. So I think the, yeah, the Python is a great choice.